Alright, so I'm going to run uh, Devil May Cry 5. I was having a lot of problems with this game just to boot it up because it kept uh, hanging and freezing and crashing and all that crap. Finally got it to work. So I'm going to give you guys an idea of how long it takes to actually boot it up. And hopefully it'll work. So the game is very heavy uh, in terms of the processing requirement and it uses the Resident Evil Remake 2 engine, the RE engine. So I'm not sure I'm going to keep this game and play it completely because uh, although it works but you know if there is a game that is so demanding you would not be able to enjoy it. You won't be able to you know have fun with it and what's the point. But let, this is just to prove that it does work. So as you can see it takes a long time. I'm, I'm doing this video just to show you exactly from start to finish how long it takes just to have the game booting up. So now we're in the intro. All right, I'm sorry guys the the just the video stopped recording. I don't know for some reason, but uh, here we go. Let's do this one more time. So this is the intro. I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm sure you have seen it in other videos. But as you, just to let you see a little bit of it, it does work and there is no problem. Alright, let's move on. So, <clears throat> I'm right now using, uh, I'm under volting and uh, at minus 50 CPU and GPU and I'm also using um, 8.5 as recommended. You know, it's the most stable wattage for most of the games uh, as mentioned by Fox. So I'm just, uh, just start the game. It does rev up by the way, uh, it, it does get hot, but uh, I believe that's the nature of the game and that's how, you know, it's a, it's a very processor intensive game, but nothing too bad. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very steady frame rate and everything seems to be working fine. Whoa, what was that? Alright, I'm not gonna, again, I just want to show you guys the gameplay, not the videos. So let's move on. It's it's running fairly decent, I would say. I think so. I cannot say it's 30 frames per second because I'm not not sure. But I it, it's quite smooth for now. So, uh, in case you guys are interested to see, you know, uh, my, my settings, I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Yeah, it, it, it works fine. I may actually end up playing the whole game. I'm not sure. It, it does work really, really fine right now. I was thinking it's not that good, but it seems to be okay. 
very stable. All the effects are there, you know, Bloom is active. I believe V-Sync is on also. Not sure. Because I was going through so many different settings and tinkering, you know. But now it seems to be very okay, very stable. Okay, I I think so. That's enough to just you know just to prove the point that uh, the GPD Win 2 is capable of handling this game, and it's very much playable. You can see right here, everything is okay. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not uh, messing around with the scaling because that makes the, the graphics look extremely bad. It's like almost pixelated. So you, I'm, I'm keeping the graphics at 100%. So, alright. So I'm going to pause the game. Let me go to options. Not sure if you guys can see it from there. Uh, let's see. Okay. So if you want to, you can just pause the video and see. By the way, I'm running at 640 at, uh, into 400. 640 by 400, that's my resolution. And uh, full screen. Honestly, on a 6-inch six, six screen, you do not feel any difference. So as you can see, the resolution scaling is at 100%. V-Sync is on, blah, blah, blah. These are all my settings, and it's still fine. This is one thing which is very important. I learned this from the... Uh, from uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, which is the the cache, the shadow cache, it should be on, and the rest of the settings are right here in front of you. That's it, guys. Let me know if you uh, want to have any more information regarding the game, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.